welcome to the tour it as you can see it's day 300 we're in the bedroom of the mansion i'm in creative mode by the way because uh this is a copy of the world so not the actual world you can actually download the copy um probably gonna have a link in the description uh anyways let's get on with the tour so this is the bedroom here I have Joey, Perry, and uh, this is Alex. I got him in 300 days. I moved them from the old base because I don't really go there. I have a painting. This is my first pickaxe, and then this is my first diamond pickaxe. Uh, I have a music disc, dragon egg, um, plant, a nice carpet. Uh, and then if we go up here, this is a, um, this is made out of the mangrove wood, so it's actually pretty hard to get because the trees are annoying. Anyways, this uh, staircase leads upstairs. Um, I wasn't planning on building anything uh, in the attic, but now I have access to it, so it's pretty cool. And then if we continue, this is like the main hallway. There's this nice water feature, which continues down to the first floor. Some more paintings. Um, here's the map room. Uh, I wasn't really sure like what I was gonna do with this thing, cause um, maps are pretty annoying to like do. And I wanted uh, this map to be like a map of all my, um, basically all my builds. And my village is this way. Uh, so I can't actually fit that in the map room. Here's a bunch of maps I, I don't know, messed up. And then if we go down, we have the first floor. This is um, some storage. There's some junk and everything. Some brewing stands, water. And uh, am I not having an elytra? I do. It's actually harder to fly in creative mode. Um, here's uh, my horse stable for Dre. I moved them over from the desert village. I think this area is a little nicer. The next area we have is the villager breeder. I'm planning to make an iron farm. Um, so I just brought some villagers over from the desert village and you know, started a breeder. Uh, pretty simple, just some beds. Is uh, the pathway, it's all lit up so no mobs spawn. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice build. I'm planning to clear out all this land once I uh, have a beacon because then I can insta mine stone, which will be very convenient. Here's um, a sheep farm I started because, uh, you know, for beds, and, you know, I can always use a sheep farm nearby. Here's a turtle pen. Um, so I'm gonna build a wither skeleton farm and uh, it requires, whoops, it's okay, it's the copy. Uh, it requires turtles, turtle eggs or something. So I just brought some turtles over, or I brought some eggs and placed them down. Okay, so yeah, that was mainly the mansion. Um, also I have these lightning rods, so my house doesn't get hit. Oh hey, there's a parrot. Uh, and then, so you might notice the roof is made out of this dark prismarine block, um, which actually requires black dye, and I have to kill a bunch of squids manually. Like if I show my statistics, um, I can show mobs. Uh, where's the squid? I've killed 636 squids. Uh, so I do actually have a squid farm, which I'll show you right now. Um, or actually, I'll show you the desert village. Not much has changed, except I lit up everything with sea lanterns. I think it looks a little nicer. Um, yeah, it's, it's, how, uh, it's better at night. Anyways, the squid farm is this way. So if we just fly over. So the squid farm, uh, it was so slow. I tried AFKing in different spots, like above it, inside it, over there didn't work. I had to drain out uh, this part of the river and dig down without any beacon so no insta mine and yeah it doesn't it's not very good. I'm pretty sure the main issue was I uh, didn't drown. Um, I didn't like uh, drain the river 
because um, there seems to be more squid spawning everywhere else. So I think if I drain this whole river, then I can get the uh, squids to spawn better. Um, so that was one of the farms I built in 300 days. Okay, continuing on, we're going over, this is the, um, the stronghold path from the original, I think it was 200 days I built this. You can see there's a creeper farm. Um, that wasn't in 300 days, that's in uh, 200. Here's the uh, ocean guardian farm, um, guardian farm. This is the first one I built. This one was in 300 days, I think. Um, it works okay. It actually does give me ink sacks because the guardians attack the uh, squids, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, but it was kind of slow. So I'm going to show you the, the next one I built, which is a lot better. Um, it is around like 2,000 blocks away. So I don't have a portal there yet. Um, so I have to fly over, which isn't too bad because I got like unlimited rockets because... Um, I have a creeper farm. Okay, so we're approaching the guardian farm. And we can see it's right here. Uh, this was a design by a guy called Ian X04, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is just a little spot where I put my materials and started building with a bed in case I die. Um, here's the ocean monument. I did take it. Oh. I did uh, take out the Elder Guardians. You just like put TNT in a block of sand and you can break through, kill the Guardian pretty easily because you know I have netherite armor. And then, so I think what's happening here is if you AFK over there, Guardians only spawn in like this chunk and then they float to the top into the nether portals. And then it goes all the way up into this area, the collection place um i don't know if i showed this but i improved it a little bit i like added this underneath part so i can get all these chests super easily i have more cod than i'm ever gonna really use um oh you can see it's working uh but i'm kind of like not kind of lacking in prismarine crystals so yeah i might need to afk here for a bit um, I am planning to make a uh, sorting system so I don't have to look through all of the chests when I uh, want to get stuff and in case chests fill up. Um, and yeah, basically I'll just go here. Oh, more spawning. I just kill them like that. And I get a ton of levels. I'm going to show you my statistics. So, guardians killed. Um, I killed 9,000. Uh, 638 so basically these kind of all group up and I have sweeping edge on my sword so I can just click one and we can see it went from like nine six something like that went up like another hundred so yeah I can get guardian kills pretty fast this way um yeah this was pretty useful in building the roof for the mansion you can see some guardians are spawning over there so, yeah, gonna head back. Alright, I think that's it for the tour. Um, yeah, so in these past 100 days, I built a few farms, like the squid, prismarine farm, and I built the mansion. So it's pretty nice having um, a large base to store all my items. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, the world download is probably going to be in the description, so you can check that out, and um, yeah, that's it, so see ya.